Hello everyone, hello ACES, hello teachers who are doing their LDM2 course for teacher. Now, we are done with the module, particularly module 1 to module 5 with the activity and some of the expected learning output of the teacher that will be included in the e-portfolio for the new normal teaching. Now, let us try to focus on one of the most requested would be the list of interventions in LDM, the sample responses. Now, we have here our sample responses in the list of intervention that we can use during the new normal setup. Now, on this particular part of the module, you will be trying to identify or to address what particular intervention would be very useful or effective in the following group of learners. Now, the LCP or the Learning Continuity Plan assures that all possible measures will be taken to ensure that no ch child will be excluded from learning during the COVID-19 crisis. Think about groups of learners in your school or division who might require special consideration to be able to participate in distance learning. Describe what targeted intervention you would develop to include them. List, listed below are some examples which may be relevant to your context. And others as a, add others as appropriate. Write down your answer in your study notebook and share your ideas at your next lunch session. Now, we have two columns here. The first column would be the learner, learner group and the targeted intervention. Now, for the first one, we have learners without parents or household member who can guide and support their learning at home. Now, our intervention included here would be establishing a chat support system to address possible queries. We'll be using online, digital online, or any type of chat support if possible if accessible if students are accessible with this type of intervention next one would be regular monitoring via sms or video call and video tutorial as supplementary guided instruction you'll be using uh, the platform like facebook or youtube so that you will be able to facilitate the instruction in a distance procedure now for the beginning readers, K-3, to the interventions that we'll be using would be parent as reading facilitators if possible, assistance from big brother and big sister, they can be their big brother, big sister, or their cousins perhaps. Now, downloadable audio for phonemes exercises, or we can actually suggest there are some applications in the App Store and Play Store that incorporate phonemic sounds for beginning reading. Now, struggling readers grades 4 to 12, parent as reading facilitators as well, assistance from big brother and big sister will be also included, modified reading materials either printed or digital copy, and video tutorial for basic sounds and reading. Now for no access to devices and internet, delivery of printed modules, that will be the best, MDL or the modular distance learning. And we also have the TV and radio aided instruction. If they have frequency or signal reception in their particular area. Now, inaccessible living in remote or unsafe area. Now, the best thing would be here is the digital online instructions of signal. Re if signal reception is evident and community coordination with the barangay officials, that would be the best. Next, indigenous people, of course, we still need to consider our fellow Filipino indigenous people, local partnership with the community officials governing the indigenous people, crafting, all, uh, crafting of materials adhering in the principle of localization indigenization, that will be our best interventions that we can apply. Next, persons with disabilities, so parent or guardian as learning facilitators, of course. Next, we can also ask technical assistance from teachers specializing in SPED and PWD curriculum instruction. And the next one, if I will be adding 
um, I would like to specify evaluation of different inhibiting factors prior in designing modalities. I will be putting here perhaps the community structure not only the learner but also we need to consider the community this structure of community the area wherein they are living we need to consider the environment not only the learners now let's take a glance of our list of targeted intervention that will be applied in our learning modality or learning LDM the learning distance modality learning delivery modality okay now that would be only our coverage for this particular video I already included this in my former videos but I just want to highlight this one because this is one of the expected outputs in our e-portfolio that will be all for today goodbye everyone keep safe so long I